Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Ceramic, baby. What's up, YouTube? It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm back again with my Paula Dean multi cooker. And today, I'm gonna make easy slow cooker slash multi cooker turkey legs wrapped in foil. Y'all know about that. All right, let's just start off with this. I'm gonna put in my little rack that came with my Paula Dean, and I'm gonna pour in a cup of water all right guys those are my turkey legs um, washed off real quick okay and now I'm gonna rub both sides with some olive oil you can use some vegetable oil if you don't have olive oil all right guys I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as possible I'm gonna Sprinkle some paprika on both sides. This is just to ensure that, you know, the coloring is pretty good. You want to do it to both sides. And what I'm going to do with, with, the, um, with this is I'm going to actually rub it in. Um, just to make sure that it's on there. Make sure you wash your hands or better yet wear some gloves. Anyway, I'm gonna use this adobo all-purpose seasoning. I'm gonna sprinkle that on both sides. Now you can do, one way to do it also is you can um, add it all and then just rub them together one time. You can do that too. It's up to you. It's whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. Okay, I'm going to add some, a um, little bit of black pepper. It's starting to smell pretty yummy already. And also just for extra, just to make it Doug style, I'm going to put some allspice, uh, just sprinkle that on there. Um, try not to do too much, just like maybe like, yeah, just a little bit. It just makes it Doug style. Well, you know what I'm going to do? So don't be like me. Do everything I just did and then rub it all together one time. So I'm just going to rub it together. Make sure it's all in there. And one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some butter in here. Just for added juicy goodness. 
because we're going to put this in the slow, your slow cooker or multi cooker for eight hours. Seven to eight hours. I'm just going to do eight hours because I'm going to clock into work. I work from home and I work eight hours. So when I get off, I'm just going to take it out. And it should be super tender, super good. Should should be smelling really good in here. So yeah, We're almost done, guys. All right. Before I add my butter, and just to go above and beyond, and to open your eyes up to different things that you can do, might spark something in your brain to try something different with your turkey legs. I'm gonna add some garlic and herb dash into the inside right there I'm gonna pour some in there and then I'm gonna add my butter just for some added flavor you know what I'm saying because we're good like that get in there yeah so when the butter melts down there I'll have all that goodness in there I'll do it to this side and just to show you like that and then we'll turn it around and do the same thing there now I'm gonna wash my hands again and then I'm gonna add some butter and then we're gonna wrap these things in foil and we good I'm just gonna just put it in there as best I can Boom. Kind of massage it in, sort of. Even though it's going to melt. But you just want to, I'm going to do that to the other side as well. Alright, there you have it, guys. Now we're ready to wrap it in four. Almost done. Not the best wrap, but hey early in the morning <laughs> all right there we have it so we're looking like right there all right so now I'm ready to turn her on got it on low so I already set to eight hours and that's it. Okay guys, so I'm just going to let that sit right there. See you after work. Alright guys, it just beeped. We are done. So it's on auto warm right now. So, we're about to take it out and see what's going on. Alright guys. Been on for eight hours. Took it out. I don't know if you can see right here, but there's a lot of juice right there. It's getting me excited right now. Cause I'm this is the first time I'm doing a um look at that. First time I'm doing a turkey leg in my um slow cooker. I mean my multi cooker, whatever. Alright, let me unravel this as best I can. It's gonna be a little messy. Like I said, you saw the juice already coming out come on <laughs> yeah man look at that wow 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 okay Alright, let's go ahead and take a fork and dive in and see, oh my god, did you just see that? Did you, did y'all just see that? <coughs> it just fell right up, oh my Jesus, look at that, yo. I like pressure cookers and all that and air fryers, but you know what? Sometimes low and slow, 
You just can't beat it. I've never seen anything fall off like that in a while. I've done, oh, let me taste it. I've done turkey legs in a pressure cooker and in an air fryer, and they both came out great. But not like that, what you just saw. You first. You got it? Oh my god. Hold on. This is my son's Power Rangers um, little teddy bear thing that he had from like when he was like one to three years in his closet. And I have to slap somebody. Dang, that was good. Oh my god, guys. This is just perfect. Um, it was well worth the wait. And I'm glad it came out good because I'm telling you, when you work at home and you smell good cooking all day, it's annoying. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating my breakfast. I'm like, my breakfast don't smell like this. I'm eating my lunch. My lunch don't smell like this. So finally, finally. So let me hook up a plate, guys. And um, well, I just got off of work, so I'm not going to really eat dinner now. But I want to show you. I want to plate it for you and show you what I am going to eat. Cause it was about 5 5.30 now. I get off about 5.15, so it's 5.30 now. Um, I'll probably eat this around 7. Let me plate it up and show you how I get down. Okay, guys, this is my plate for dinner. And I, I got to tell you guys, I'm still blown away. I'm still blown away. I can't believe how tender and fall off the bone the turkey leg came out. Now... I, I, I might be just talking now, but as of right now, world premiere, I will not make a turkey leg any other way than in my multi cooker. In fact, I'm about to take, I'm about to leave one down. I'm about to put one, I'm about to put one of my multi cookers down in the under under a cabinets because I have never seen that before. It tastes so good. And I know some of you are going to say, um, can you do it without the foil? Yes. But remember, the foil kept all the juices. So it was cooking in its juices. If you didn't have it there, that would have just fell right down. So I don't know if that would have took away from the tenderness, if it would have took away from the taste or both. I don't know. But it's not worth me trying to figure that out. Um, one other thing before I go, because like I said, we already gave you a bite. We already tasted this good. Um, what I am planning to do, because I have a 12-quart go-wise pressure cooker, I'm planning on getting a 14-quart to complete my series. Um, this would be great because the go-wise, because I don't know, if you guys have like a slow cooker or, or even on your multi-cooker, if, well, let me finish the go-wise go thought. Um, with a 14 quart, I could probably load up maybe eight of these, you know, on the holidays, Thanksgiving. Come on now. Imagine having eight of these family go crazy. But on another note, I know a lot of you are going to say, I don't have eight hours and I know that's long, but guess what? Some of your, you know, uh, crock pots or your multi cookers have timers on them. You know what I mean? So you can put this all you know all we did was we put a cup of cup and a half of water in there a cup of water and just sit in and, and just I just plopped it in there so I could have put a delay time on there for four hours so so let's say you went to bed I don't know at 11 o'clock and you put a delayed timer on for I don't know four in the morning and you did it for eight hours it'd be just in time for lunch something like that so it could be worked out but this is definitely worth it. But anyway, we're almost at 15 minutes. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. We out.